Our company is part of a holding company for the production of medicines in Varanish production. We use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP. Last year we decided to produce throat lozenges in aluminum foil, the composition of which was developed by our Academy of Sciences. What was needed was a compact and safe plant with a simple and clear way to control it. The equipment had to work in automatic mode. Aluminum foil is used in the formation of blisters for pharmaceutical products. A thin film of aluminum with a layer of heat weldable varnish should provide protection of the drug from harmful environmental factors. Since I had already chosen a lot of different equipment for our company, I had a little experience in selecting and remained the contacts of some reliable machine manufacturers. I contacted them by telephone to find out if they could produce a batch packaging machine which would meet my requirements. I specified automatic control, a compact machine with a capacity of 2000 blisters per hour or more as my main criteria. I first approached a company in Germany who offered me an automatic batch packaging machine, but they specified that the whole process of delivery, customs clearance and installation of the machine was not included in the price. Delivery could have been delayed and I declined. Then I contacted the company from Russia. She said that they do not make this type of machine, but if we can wait, they are willing to design and manufacture the machine, but it will not be until next year. I was not ready to wait. I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest a different machine option. I looked on the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience delivering equipment from a Chinese intermediary when a powder filling line was brought to us, but there were no installation documents or technical data sheet. It took us a long time to set up the line. We consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online. I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All of the companies I called to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company said to wait five minutes, but never listened to me. I didn't like this attitude to the customer. The manager of another company talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, the desired production time. Three days later I received an email from them nine options for various blister machines and an offer to make your own choice. I realized that they have no professional approach and I will not help me in my search for equipment. The last, third intermediary option turned out to be a good one for me. The manager informed me two weeks before the delivery about the degree of readiness of the machine. The specialist emailed the video of our machine. Fully automatic equipment. A funnel-shaped hopper is provided for feeding tablets. The machine is controlled by the LCD screen system. From one roll of aluminum foil cells are formed, and the second roll of aluminum foil goes to the welding and forming a blister with tablets of eight pieces. A month after signing the contract, we received the machine. The manager provided us with the manufacturer's guarantee, technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operation manual. We assembled the automatic equipment for packing tablets into aluminum foil and trained the worker who would be assigned to the machine within a week. The machine was made of stainless steel. We were pleased with the equipment option offered. After talking with a real professional, I got a little smarter myself, learned a lot, and am absolutely certain that a good teacher is one whose words don't differ from deeds. I checked it on my own experience.